Hello and welcome to everybody on Cloud Fitness. So in today's video, I'm going to show how a run of a DBT core project looks like. So the project which I have described or the project structure which I have described in my previous video, I'm just going to run it so that you guys have an idea on how does DBT core projects work. And after that, basically we will go step by step and create a new DBT core project as well from the scratch. So if you can see over here, right, I am inside my DBT project and the data warehouse that I have, that is nothing but I have uh, Google BigQuery. I have created a project over here. So this is my project name, you know, the possible flag. This is the name of my project over here. And I have taken the data from BigQuery public data set, which I'm using right now. So no need to worry about you know from where i'm picking up the data set or anything of that sort we are going to do it step by step in the upcoming videos but right now it is very important for you to understand what exactly is being done over here right so this is the project that i've created in the future videos i'll show you how to create a project you know and do all that stuff step by step as well so now if you can see over here let me copy the name of my project and if i go back to my visual studio right now uh if you see i am inside my uh you know the project that i have now let me say and you can see i'm already inside the answers folder right i'm already inside my answers profile now if i close it right now what what happens over here now why i am inside my answers right in my previous video i have shown you that dbt project.yaml file is mandatory right whenever you do anything dbt project.yaml file is something that is looked first right so to look into dbt project.yaml which is already inside answers you have to come inside this particular path to do anything right so remember that path always and also if i go to my profiles.yaml file over here right so i now you remember i explained that first it goes to dbt project and then it goes to the profiles.yaml file as well right now in the profiles.yaml file we define okay what is the database that we are connecting to what is the uh, you know uh, how we are actually logging into the bigquery and then what is the database you know and all that part right what is the schema right here uh, you know basically it's a variable right so that is why i'm going to pass the variable over here now if i go back right and let me simply say that export big query underscore project equal to and that is the project name that i have uh, got and enter right now now why i have mentioned this is because just because in my profiles i have not mentioned my bigquery project name i have given it as a variable right now similarly i will also say let's 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 do an echo of my bigquery bigquery underscore project so this is going to give me my project name as well now if i want to run anything on this right now what i want to actually run i want to run my model now where is my model so let's say if i want to run my staging model which is present over here right if i click here let's say i want to run any model from here uh, let's say i want to run this model right stage e-commerce underscore underscore orders dot sql right now how do i actually run it you know there is a command directly that we need to run as dbt run so even in the cloud form we use dbt run as itself minus s is nothing but it is select right select stg underscore e commerce underscore underscore orders right now if you remember basically what i'm trying to say here i'm just trying to say that run my model which is nothing but which is this right now i'm asking it to run my this particular model right now if you remember this particular model how it is going to run so the moment it reaches this model we we have okay we have defined that uh you know okay let me in fact open this to show you right so the moment it enters this particular model right what it will do you know it will start executing you know uh, whatever sqls you have put as part of you know your orders uh, yaml file so if you look at this order orders yaml file right it is checking each and everything so for example it is checking the 
a simple test as well like not null test as well that this order id should not be null and all that part now after that it is also checking about the sql it is also going to run the sql associated to it right now to run the sql associated to it now where is it going to run this sql right where it is going to load the output it is going to load the output in the big query over here it is going to run the it is going to load the output over here now how do you know that in which schema it is going to load so if i go back to my profiles.yaml file right here if you see it talks about database and it talks about schema right i have already talked about my database now my big big a big query project is called the database as well so the database name is same profile possible flag right if you see this is nothing but this is the database name inside it run it inside this particular schema dbt test right so the moment i put schema over here it is going to put it is going to run and load the staging table staging output table within this particular schema now i also need to define here because it, it uses profiles file right it uses profiles.yaml file so here i need to give the path to my profiles.yaml file so let me simply give profiles dot in fact hyphen dir space dot so the moment i do that what exactly i've done here i've given the path to my profiles directory right now here if you can see it is actually start it, it has actually started running my query it, uh, it has started you know running my model right and if you also see in this case i have specifically provided that run this particular file right run stage e-commerce orders right run this particular uh, file but in this case if i do not provide any file over here it is going to run all the models if i don't provide any file name over here what it will do it is go it is going to create and it is going to run all the models now if you see what it says running with dbt 1.7.4 right registered adapter bigquery 1.7 right it says you know found eight models one snapshot 77 tests one seed one operation so these are nothing but inside my particular project how many models are present right how many snapshots are present how many tests are present so all that part and then it is giving you you know basically the results right and it has created the tables it took 14 seconds and all that stuff now if you look uh you know uh to the query results and all it 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 gives you it gives you uh you know complete analysis also if you go on the left hand side you have something called as logs so if you want to go ahead check the logs you can actually go and check the logs as well if you want to do a detailed analysis on how your run was but we are not going to go into that analysis right now we are directly going to our project over here now here let me just do the refresh con uh, contents and dbt test right if i go inside this dbt test you can actually see that my staging table has been created now if you see over here these are the columns which are present inside my particular table if i click on details right you can actually see that when it is run first january 2024 11:22 pm which is exactly now i have run this right so this is the time when it was run so it even gives you a little more details about this particular uh, you know uh, table when it was created right and i also talked about functions right in my last video so if i click on routines over here right routines if you see function get brand name right it is using this function get brand name now if i go back right over here and if i show you the macros over here yes uh, you know in in the last video i have also sh uh, talked about macros which are nothing but the function so get brand name so it is using this particular function so you can actually see that over here so this is nothing but this is just a sample run a sample short run of a dbt project just to give you an overview of how does it work you know you you know you write in dbt run command you give the path do the model that you want to run and you can you know in case of dbt core projects right you give profiles uh, you know the path to your profiles file profiles.yaml file because that profiles.yaml file has the details right on which schema it is going to run right which schema it is going to create the table and all that details right so similarly if you want to create any other table you can actually do that and i hope you like this particular video it gave you a overview 
so that you are ready for what is coming up next now in our next video we are going to create all of this pattern one by one so i hope you like this particular video do remember to like share and subscribe to my channel thank you so much for being till here